Before you download the WebEx Productivity Tools, you need to make certain that you have a BT account. If you have an account, you would have received a wallet card or an email with your login information. If you have misplaced those account details, you can get it by contacting BT Conferencing at 1-866-766-8777. If you do not yet have a BT account, you can contact your business unit phone coordinator to get one. This tutorial will guide you through downloading and installing the WebEx productivity tools. Open Internet Explorer and go to https colon slash slash kimball.webex.com. Click on Host Login in the upper right hand corner. Enter your username and then your password. Once you have entered your password, click on Login. You may immediately be prompted to set up your WebEx productivity tools. If you see this box, click on Yes. If you do not see this screen, you will see this instead. Under Support, click on Downloads. You will then see Meeting Center Downloads. Scroll down until you see the productivity tools. Click on Download Now. You should then see a flashing box asking if you want to run or save. Where this appears on your page will depend on the version of Internet Explorer you are running. Click on Run. You will then see the WebEx productivity tools Install Shield Wizard. Click Next. When you see the license agreement screen, select I accept the terms in the license agreement, then click Next. You will then see an Installing WebEx Productivity Tools screen. If asked, select Yes to allow WebEx to make changes to your machine. You will see this box once the download is complete. Click Finish. You should then see a screen telling you that WebEx Productivity Tools are installed. Click OK. If you see this window, you can click Yes. You will then need to log into your WebEx account. Type kimball.webex.com into the site URL. Enter your WebEx username. And then enter your WebEx password. You will then see a screen letting you know that it is logging you in. The WebEx one-click dialog box should appear. If it does not, you can click on the Start button and click on All Programs. Select the WebEx folder, then click WebEx one-click. On the next screen, select Edit WebEx Settings. The Account tab will open by default. Verify that the WebEx account information has populated. This should have filled in for you automatically. Verify that the site URL is set to https colon slash slash kimball.webex.com slash kimball. You can also verify your user ID and password. Next, select the Instant Meetings tab. Under the Meeting Information section, Accept the default meeting template of MC Meeting Center Default, or you can click the down arrow and select Support Center if you prefer. Leave the service type as is, and in the Meeting Topic field, enter a topic such as WebEx. Under the Audio Conference section, in the Conference Type field, select None. On the Scheduled Meetings tab, you can accept the defaults as shown. Meeting Center is the default for scheduled meetings, but you can also choose from Event Center, Training Center, or one of your custom templates if you prefer. You may also prefer to change the entry and exit tone in the audio conference section. This determines what occurs when someone joins the audio. Beep, announce name, or no tone. On the one-click tab, under Program Behavior, Place a check in the Always Stay on Top of Desktop checkbox. Also check Show One Click icon on Taskbar and Show Scheduling function in One Click window. 
Also make sure that Microsoft Outlook is set as the default address book. Next select the Tools tab which is where you can determine which applications will display icons for the WebEx productivity tools. Select the applications that you want. However, we recommend unchecking Use WebEx with Instant Messenger. Click Apply, then click OK to save your settings. To see the WebEx icons in your various applications, you may need to restart them after installing the productivity tools. If you have any questions, please contact the Kimball Solutions Center by calling 812-481-6123 or visit us on the web at ksc.kimball.com.